Erev Tov Kharim, I'm Steve. Uh, you're watching Israeli News Live, and boy, guys, we've got some serious things happening uh, all around the world. Venezuela, Syria, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is admitting that Israel did do the strike inside of Quenetra there on the old vacant hospital building. According to the Prime Minister, uh, he is driving out Iranian troops from away from his border. But it's kind of odd because if you think about it, at the same time, uh, U.S. coalition strike, according to Damascus, they're saying that in their strike they did near um, Deir Azor, over in the southeast part of, part of Syria, that they hit a um, refugee camp, killing and wounding as many as 70 civilians. Wow, not good at all. And then while all this is taking place, which is only kind of letting me know that the situation in Syria is escalating once again. If you remember the other day, thanks to our good friend Lorenzo on Already Happened, on his Twitter page there, had shared with us the massive movement of U.S. tanks uh, headed towards the Middle East region again. And uh, also, it looks like even those uh, Patriot map batteries may end up in the same location. Well, now, Lorenzo's sharing from another friend of his uh, that he got a source on that there is uh, anti-aircraft artillery being moved about in Venezuela by Maduro. Uh, in fact, they're trying to do it in a very incognito way they were taking batteries, hiding them inside of vehicles to where it'd be harder to, de to detect what they were and moving those towards their borders as well. Maduro is expecting an invasion. He's expecting it soon. And uh, you can't help but wonder, is this going to go down the same time that they're going to try to take down Iran? Uh, well, and not just Iran. Guys, listen to me. We had that inside information that uh, not just Iran, but Lebanon and Syria were going to go down. As soon as Israel was done digging the tunnels, good friend of ours uh, in Israel there, a man that is in the know. Uh, in this case, it's not uh, anybody with intelligence, but he's in the know. He knows a lot of things that are going on. And, and by the way, brother, I'll just say, if you happen to be watching this broadcast, uh, they've blocked me from being able to email you back. Uh, so I've tried multiple times in trying to email you, especially when I saw that you were dealing with some issues with some pain, and I was going to recommend to you Vitalzyme. <laughs> hate to do that here on a broadcast, guys, but he's a wonderful brother, and he's always letting me know things that are happening, things that are, you know, that are going on that he's able to share with us there, uh, you know, and, and he's always cautious, too, you know, and I appreciate that because he, he loves Israel. He cares about the safety of Israel, but he's always letting us know inside information uh, that is available in the public uh, arena, but uh, maybe not uh, uh, so widely known on other spectrums. Uh, but, uh, of course, we have friends in the intelligence community as well. Uh, we that share information with us. And uh, so, yes, very, very serious things that are happening over uh, there in Syria. And, uh, of course, this friend here was sharing with us that, you know, Lebanon and Syria would be next after these uh, tunnels that Hezbollah had dug are destroyed. They would be the next to fall. And while we're looking at this, we're looking at Venezuela. You know, I, I tell you, I cannot help but it's a new world order. All right, so let's keep an eye out. Listen, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we should be live on the Yana and Steve chat. Going to be live here on uh, Israeli News Live. And uh, guys, I realize we're in a little awkward place. So we're hoping that we're going to have an okay internet to, to run this live. So just pray for us. Don't know how well that's going to work. Pray for us. It'll work. Anyway, I'm Steve. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov. Good evening, friends.